I'm here at Gentile Arena where your Loyola Ramblers just took down the 21st ranked Dayton Flyers 77-72. Here are your highlights from an electric Friday night at Gentile Arena. In the biggest game of the year, the Ramblers rose to the occasion. Graduate guard Braden Norris, who made his school record 122nd start, gave Rambler fans a moment to remember. After battling their way to a two-point lead, Norris sank a corner three to push the lead to five. And this was ultimately the death. This first one I hit in the corner late, I didn't like. I didn't know if it was gonna be short, long. I, I couldn't even feel it come off my hands. Um, yeah, you just kind of let your work take over and, and trust it. He also had the assist on this alley oop to Tom Welsh that sent Gentile into a frenzy. <laughs> Norris finished with a double double with 19 points and 11 assists. Des Watson also showed out, scoring 24. When the Ramblers' offense struggled from the floor in the first half, Watson put the team on his back, scoring a ridiculous 4 of 5 from 3. Loyola shot just 30% in the first half compared to Dayton's 50, but thanks to Watson, they only trailed by 2 at the break. Loyola's shooting saw a remarkable turnaround in the second half, rising to 61%, allowing them to take and hold the lead with around 8 minutes to play. Dayton had a strong offensive night as well. Star Duran Holmes had 20 points and 9 rebounds, and guard Enoch Cheeks had 16 of his own. But the hustle stats played a key role tonight. Each team had 7 blocks, 4 from Holmes and 4 from Loyola freshman Miles Rubin. The Ramblers snagged 15 steals and scored 20 points off turnovers to Dayton's 7. Ultimately, that made the difference. Loyola takes sole possession of second place in the Atlantic 10, and this marked their first ranked win at home since 1986. These are the kind of wins that you expect to happen, you know. We expect to win this game, and I told our guys that we want to celebrate because we know that it was an emotional big win, especially after coming off of a loss, and we know that this win puts us in a position to play for a championship, so let's celebrate that. Now the Ramblers will head on the road down in North Carolina, take on the Davidson Wildcats this Tuesday at 6 p.m. For Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Nate Keogh.